Hello, today we're going to look at something really cool and powerful, especially for enterprises, large corporations or consulting company, audit, accounting companies that deal with a lot of data and how we can use AI on a local host combined with Artila to do some job. So Artila can do some automation, send data to the local AI to be processed and get it back. So we call it Artilama because we use Artila with Lama, Lama 3, the LLM model from uh, Facebook, and we use Olama to install it. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, and we're gonna go on my computer. All right, so here on my computer, uh, first, what you have to do is to go to olama.com, and then download the Olama uh, setup. They have for Mac, Linux, and Windows, so I've already done that. I downloaded Olama, I installed it. And then the second tool that you need to have to make life easier is to go on Pinocchio and you download Pinocchio again, um, you install it. Once you install Pinocchio and Olama, then what you need to do is you need to launch Olama. So you just go to start programs. The equivalent is working also for Mac OS and Linux. So I'm gonna look for Olama and I'm gonna click Olama. And here what it does is that it launches Olama in the background you can see here. And what you have to do next is to open the command line and you need to launch the Olama server. So the way you launch the Olama server so that we can connect to it via API is that you uh, launch the command and then you type Olama serve. And here it's going to give us an error. You see here it says listen TCP port, uh, only one usage can be done at the same time. This is because Olama is running right now in my background here. So you have to kick it out from here as a software. And now I can type again Olama serve and it's gonna launch the server, you see here, it launched the server, the server is ready. And this is where we can see the pings between the Olama server and uh, Artila and Pinocchio and the other tools that we, I'm gonna show you. So now the server is running. The next thing that I'm going to do is to launch Pinocchio. So I installed it already. Now I'm gonna launch Pinocchio. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to load. And of course, uh, with this kind of uh, setup, you need a lot of VRAM uh, for the uh, graphic card. And as you can see, uh, I have my computer here. Uh, I went back into gaming PCs to have uh, enough power to process AI. And I have uh, an RTX uh, GeForce NVIDIA card with uh, 24 gigabyte of RAM which can allow us to process even uh, AI video tools. So let's look at this. So I already installed OpenWebUI Web that helps you manage all the LLMs locally, but when you start, you're gonna reach this screen with Pinocchio. And in this screen here, you have a lot of tools uh, that you can use, some fantastic tools. And the first one that I suggest to use is the Open Web UI. this one, Open Web UI. You install this, you click on it, and then you follow the process to install it. And then once you have it, it will show up here, Open Web UI, and you can install other things. For example, Stable Diffusion Web UI to create images, and here for video, Stable uh, Diffusion Video. But the web, Open Web UI is what I use to configure Olama. Uh, it gives us a lot of easy options. So I'm gonna click on it now, and I'm gonna start it. So I start the Open Web UI. It's a web interface that allows us to deal with Olama. So here it asks us that we should launch Olama first before proceeding, which I did already. So I just click next. The Olama server is running. It's gonna load some code, prepare the interface. And it takes a couple of seconds to prepare this interface. You see here, open web UI using the ASCII art. And now I have this button open web UI. So I click that. And now I have a web interface pretty much like uh, ChatGPT, but with a lot of tools and a lot of uh, options. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, when you go here, you create an account. I already have an account, but you can create a local account here to log in. And once you log in, in into this interface, then you can go into settings and here you can download and change models, delete models, which I already downloaded, or you can enter a model name, an LLM and download it. So I already have a bunch of models here. And the one that I'm gonna use for the test is uh, we're gonna use Llama. 
Lama 3 uh, column instruct. So you have to write the exact name like this in Artila, depending on the model you use. So I will use this one in particular. So you can load it here and you can already start playing here. Uh, for example, I can say uh, what is what is 2 plus 2 and then Lama 3 is going to reply me. You can also install a smaller uh, Lama version. I took a pretty big one and you see I got the answer. The answer is 4. So it's working. It's connecting to the uh, Olama server and if I look at the server here, I see that they were a query to the Olama server. So things are working well. Now what, what, you, what you need to do is that you need to launch Artila and you can download this template that we have. We called it API Bridge or Lama V2. And here, when you open this, this template, this is on V7, but on V6, it's also the same. If you go onto, onto the API Bridge, you can actually configure everything. So you can configure here the IP address, which is usually uh, the IP address that is installed by Olama. And then the endpoint is slash API slash generate. You don't touch this unless the IP address given when you install Olama is different. And then here, what you have to do is we already pre-configured everything. We're sending uh, to the local, local API a few things. Uh, JSON, don't change it. Stream, don't change it. The most easy is to change the model name. So be careful to have the exact model name written. Uh, sometimes we use Lama 3 alone. Sometimes we use Lama 3 with instruct. Instruct will follow the instructions of the user more precisely, which is better for automation. And then the prompt will be here, but the prompt here, right now it's a text. So I could say, uh, what is two plus two? And then it will give me an answer. But I could also use our Artila uh, variables. So I can use this uh, open up and curly bracket. And if I had a variable name from an earlier automation, I could feed dynamically here my prompt. But for the sake of this test, I'm just going to use a manual prompt just to show you how Artila interacts uh, with Olama locally. So let's keep our what is plus 2 plus 2, what is 2 plus 2, question mark. Okay, and then again, my model, LLM model name is exactly correct. And here you will see uh, that we split the response we get. First, we alert, we display the whole API interaction. We're going to display it to, to double check. But also we extract which model was used. Uh, we extract the response right here, which is value equal uh, what we get from the API and then dot response. So this is what we get from the array. And then we created all the properties to save all the answers we get, the model, when it was created, how many tokens it used, the status and so on. So that every time we query uh, to Olama server, we get the answer and the statistics on the answer. So let's save and let's uh, give it a little try. Now I'm gonna run it here. I run it locally. So you see here, I'm getting the same uh, power of ChatGPT almost, uh, and but it's local. The data is not going out of my company. The data is not going out of the bank, the law firm, the audit firm. So you can process data, use AI completely locally with Artilama, Artila plus Olama.